So let's go through the changes for the FRM part two curriculum for the year 2023. Uh, the syllabus for the entire year is always the same. So whatever is the syllabus in 2022 for all the exam terms will be the same. 2022 to 2023, there might be changes. 2023, the syllabus is going to be exactly the same for all the May, November, whatever exam terms you have, it is going to be the same, right? So the syllabus changes from year to year, not term to term. That is one. Second, FRM part two, every year, the current issue subject has major changes. So we always advise students that current issues, chhodke, apart from current issues, you complete the rest of the curriculum. If you've started preparing in the previous year, for the May exam generally, because November batch generally knows exactly what the curriculum is. So that is what we advise them, that except current issues, you do all the other subjects, there is no problem. There are no major changes normally, right? And you have to start studying earlier because the books and all get quite delayed in terms of release. For example, the, Swe uh, the Schweizer textbooks are going to get released by January end of every first week. You cannot delay your preparation until then. So normally what you do is you start preparing with the current year's textbook, that is 2022 in this case. And for 2023, whatever changes or new chapters are added, that you uh, get a print or something like that, whatever is uh, needed, you do that. But uh, you need to start preparing in the uh, with the old textbooks and the previous year itself. Because normally over the last many years we have seen the textbooks take time to get released for FRM. January end of every first week for the May batch, right? So that is a time frame that is taken and current issues are something that I advise against. Now let's discuss, since now the syllabus changes are out, the book is not out, let's go through the changes that is there. So, and after the changes, I'll tell you how do we go about with the changes with respect to the classes, how do we go about it? So when you're looking at the summary of the changes for 2023, there is approximately a 15% change, 15% new addition that we see and approximately 15% deletion that we see. There is no change in market risk, investment risk subject, even credit risk, I would say there is barely three to four pages that has been changed across these subjects. The changes are totally in your current issues and your uh, operational risk subject. Liquidity risk as well, there is absolutely no change, right? Let's go through the changes. So first of all, when I'm looking at it, I have this seven chapters and these five chapters, total 12 chapters have been added in operational risk. Five chapters have been replaced. So we've got a deletion of five chapters from current issues and new five chapters of current issues are added. 12 chapters are added in operational risk and 15 chapters from operational risk have been deleted. These are very minimal changes. I'll discuss this. You can see one LOS has been barely changed over here. One new LOS has been added. One new LOS is one subheading, like one half a page or one page or something like that. It is that minimal. So the changes is only 0.7% if you look at the entire curriculum. But when you're looking at the new and the deletion, so 15% of the curriculum has been replaced. Normally, we see these changes only in the current issues bit and the rest of the changes are minimal. This year is a little different Normally, we don't see 12 chapters or 15 chapters of operational risk or any subject getting changed. But here we have a major revamp. And personally, I think the revamp is a little good over here. Let's go through the changes bit now. All right. So when I'm looking at the changes, firstly, in operational risk, risk identification, governance, mitigation, reporting. So this is going to be relatively theoretical chapter. These are going to be relatively very small chapters apart from these two. But otherwise, it's a very small, easy, non-numerical chapters that have been added over here. So these are the seven chapters in the risk part. And even the replacement, if you see, for example, enterprise risk management, what is ERM, risk culture, banking risk culture, operational risk data, assessing quality of risk. So these changes also that has been done, it has been done on the theoretical part of the risk. So similar chapters have been added over here. So it is not going to be an absolutely different, of course, the curriculum, the, the, the chapters, the content is different, but it is not totally unrelated. So it is going to be relatively similar kind of changes. Upgradation, of course, is needed in the syllabus that is being done. Now, the, what is interesting over here, these five case study chapters that have been added. So there is a case study on cyber threats, financial crime, third party, investor protection, model risk. Now, if you notice, there has been deletion on, there is a model risk, there is a cyber uh, uh, information data. So the deletion and the addition is around the similar kind of chapters. Operational resilience, this resilience was added 
a year back and they've kind of re uh, removed it very quickly. This resilience was not there three years back. This was there, I think, last year only. They probably added last or last to last year. So this is barely one year or two year old content and they've removed this. The cyber resilient is there, model validation is there. And now you see there is a case study on cyber risk. There is a case study on model. So they've kind of changed the chapter to make it more practical. I'm assuming there will be less numericals over here, barely any numerical. In fact, these are very small additions if you see, because there are barely two LOSs added in these chapters, in these chapters. So this addition, the change that has been done, I personally believe it is a little in your favor. So don't worry about it. Don't get irritated about the change. So these are the changes in operational risk. 15 chapters are now new 12 chapters. Now, when we're looking at the changes in terms of current issues, so these five chapters have been removed from the current issues curriculum. So COVID and market turmoil due to the COVID because this is March 2020, that is of course not relevant and that is the reason why current issue subject keeps on changing because the subject is ever evolving in a way if you look at it, right? So the COVID part has been removed. Liber transition, we understand, I believe you've already studied about it, that there was uh, a lot of manipulation being done by the banks and therefore the LIBOR has been replaced or is being replaced rather uh, with a market reference rate, SOFR, Sonia, Tonya, there are multiple alternatives now. But SOFR is by far the most popular one uh, that we're looking at. So therefore the LIBOR transition was happening. So therefore this has gone. Rise of digital money has gone but another chapter replacing rise of digital money has come up. In fact there are two chapters on it in terms of e-money. Even right now in India, we are looking at the central bank digital currency, the e-rupee coming up. So whatever is happening in the economy at the current moment is what we want to study in current issues. These are obviously the old chapter numbers. They have been deleted. These are based on 2022 chapter numbers, right? Now, and these are obviously the new chapter numbers that you have. That is why black and gray, the way it has been made. So now what we have is in current issues, we've got climate risk. There was another chapter of climate risk already. We've kind of added on to it. If you see, there is there are two chapters on your e-currency kind of thing, digital currency, future monetary system that has been added. Inflation is a very interesting chapter because we've seen the kind of inflation pressures we are looking at in the developed economy today, post-COVID. So now it's not about the COVID or March turmoil, which is relevant in the current issue but something even beyond that which is the inflation pressure that the developed economies are facing and that is going to be a very interesting chapter i'm looking forward to teaching so this is these are the replacements that have been done 12 chapters thrown out of operational risk no 15 thrown out and 12 new added and five chapters of current issues removed and five new added so in terms of the content uh, there is a there might be a marginal decrease of maybe a two three percent syllabus but otherwise there's not much of a change in totality if i would say i would say that the volume of syllabus remains the same uh, the relevance it's good it's good improvement current issues anyways the subject is supposed to be changing every uh next year when you're looking at the changes bit there's not much i can discuss apart from this one chapter which is related to money laundering and uh, financing of terrorism there is quite a bit of change over here and there are three new loss's in the uh, SPV part, you've already studied that in mortgage backed securities in part one, right? But otherwise, there's not much of a change. There are four LOSs deleted. So we can ignore that while you're studying. There is one LOS which has some changes. At times, they just change the language of the heading. Like their language could be describe this and they could change it, explain this. So we will, we are yet to see what kind of changes there in this one LOS. And there are uh, seven to 10, actually 10 ish, 10, 12 LOSs that have been added over here. 10-ish LOSs. So 10 subheadings, basically 10 half page. So the total five pages added and two, three pages removed. So you barely have got a three, four page addition in the entire. And these changes are across market and credit risk, predominantly credit risk part. The one LOS added deleted part that we will see as we move forward. Now, how has the sheet been provided to you? Let's just quickly see that. So basically I've given you the summary of these changes first that 85% content is same, this much is new, this much is changes. I've highlighted the chapters first, the ones that have been added newly, these are the new chapters. The number of LOSs in these chapters, they're new reading numbers obviously, because they were not there in the previous curriculum. Then you have these changes part, wherein this number of LOSs deleted, this is new added, changes or deleted over here. These are also referring to the new chapter number. The chapter name might be the same as previous year, but it is new chapter number here. And then you have these chapters deleted. Obviously, their reading numbers cannot be of 2023. It has to be the old year reading number, 
right after that what i have done is on a chapter wise basis i have given a little bit of detail one los has been deleted and i've cross reference with the chapter number as per 2023 curriculum and chapter number as per 2022 curriculum in case somebody is using the old book which i feel for the may batch will be most of the people and if there is any new chapter added which is quite a bit when you're looking at the operational risk part and deletions so these are all the deletions and the new chapters and all that have been added in current issues these are the existing chapters no change new chapters deleted chapters list is at the end of the entire portion so all the deleted chapters operational and uh, current issues everything is over here so this is the new syllabus these are your new 91 sorry new 96 chapters up to here the list of deleted chapter is at the end new chapters are highlighted this way if a chapter has a change one los has changes one los has changes so that has been highlighted in yellow once you're done with this the entire syllabus is given in detail so now if you see the entire mapping is available so chapter number one this is the name of the chapter these are the six subheadings we have earlier subheadings names were these now the new subheading names are these so there is a d there is a new addition so therefore there uh, there is a deletion over here now in this chapter so a1 a b c d e f it was earlier a b c e f g so the previous year d los has been deleted and see you can cross reference in first chapter you will find one los deleted so one los deleted right so current years los 1a corresponds to 1a but 1d corresponds to 1e this year's 1e corresponds to 1f so the entire mapping is available for you right new los added so only this los is new so if you're going through the curriculum if you've already completed this chapter you know that this is new and that is how los wise every chapter has been broken up into los's this one has changes that's why it's yellow 9a so when we do 9a we have to see this this one is new credit decision right obviously if it is new there is no previous los number available right comfortable i hope this is going to be quite useful to understand map the changes and all so basically you don't have to worry what you have to understand is how do we go about it with the class so whatever is deleted just ignore it we are also going to delete it but in case you started preparing already and you already have those chapters deleted part you ignore the deleted los while studying if you want you can ignore that part from the lecture we are also going to remove it and you can if you're using old books you can just cancel of those parts cancel of the chapters that are deleted the changed los my advice or how i would recommend students to do is the los's that have got changes you already have a list here you go to that particular los because you can see okay 17 f has changed so you just right over there changes and then you study when you're coming across a changes los just wait for me to do it in the live class and share it with you and the new chapters as well i'm going to cover every new chapter every changed los first then i do the rest of the curriculum but i always start with the new chapters and the changes first in the live class and that is uh, uh, regularly available to you so you can we are also starting with the zoom live thing so you'll be able to attend the class at home while i'm teaching the live class but you'll also get the access within a week or two normally two weeks time we get the lectures on google drive so you'll get all the new chapters and the changes los's etc on google drive so once that is there it is fine but obviously since the books are going to get released end of january february first week after that i will be able to start with the new chapters and uh, the changes part so until then you complete the rest of the curriculum you follow the same order of study whichever is provided to you which one is provided to you you complete the rest of the curriculum skipping only the deleted or the new chapters deleted you don't have to do new chapters uh, you obviously don't have right now and if there is one los change or one los new in a chapter you can just mark it and wait for it but complete that chapter also there's no problem and you can just get back to that one new los or one changed los later right so that is how you complete the curriculum and obviously for the may bad students you'll have to wait till until because february i'll start so it's going to take me a couple of months to complete 17 chapters plus and all so at that point of time make sure that your rest of curriculum is up to par and completed and all of that and the new chapters and all is what you keep for studying in feb march i mean prepare accordingly that you'll have 12 plus 5 let's say 17 new chapters which you will be receiving periodically in february march april because there is quite a bit of change this year normally these many changes are not there 
So normally in one month, I'm able to complete all the changes. But anyways, you have like a good 95, 96 chapters. So apart from 17, all the chapters completed, you can start parallelly revising with these 17 chapters being done in the class uh, from February. I think February, March, depending also whether the books are released January end, February first week. Maximum, I think they stretches to the 10th of February, not beyond that. So based on that, I will be able to complete the curriculum. Obviously, I'll do more extra class in the first half of the year for part two because I know there are a lot of changes and we'll manage it that way. Tell me, comfortable? Absolutely perfect. This is how we go about with the changes. So don't worry at all.